Let's Play! Hi guys, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. In the last part we got to this place and I see you shiny object over there. You shall be mine in but a mere second! Except that is an empty hallway. This is the way we go. So let's just sneak around the reception ladies, don't mind me. Too bad we don't have any cardboard boxes. Oh goodness! Zangoose is ready for purification. Do I have a nickname for Zangoose? I don't know, but we'll purify them all after. Right now we're sneaking and we failed sneaking. Nobody called for me, but here I am! Ta-da! Okay, cool. I mean... Flippus? That is a feminine name. If the names in this world had genders that could actually they be assigned to, in which they don't because, you know, names like Flippus exist in this world. And here we have my good friend Kecleon, who I love doing those crazy sort of combo things on. For instance, I'm going to Iron Tail it, and then I'm going to use Flamethrower. See that? That is what you call using your noodle. Except I've never actually heard someone refer to their brain as a noodle. I'm sure it sort of looks like spaghetti, but it sort of doesn't. Speaking of food, that's really how you can open up any statement, really, but... Speaking of food, um, I text my mom today and I'm like, Mom, I'm craving Japanese. Can you call Dad because she's coming home? And so I was like, you know what? I want some Japanese food. And she says, girl? And she thought I was talking about how I was craving a Japanese girl. And I said, no. Well, yes, but it's so funny how you can sort of... I'm moving my microphone down because I'm looking at it peaking and that's not good. There we go. That's better. And it's funny how, you know... I just love having a family where I can do that sort of just have fun with. I hate people who are serious. I've gone over this before, but uh... Iron Tail! Let's see how powerful this is. That did uh, decent damage. I mean, you're not meant for attacking right now. But you will be soon. Oh, you will be soon. Psybeam! That won't affect... Good, you didn't attack... The Actually, no, that would have been better if you attacked the one it wouldn't affect. Because that would be uh... That'd be good. I would appreciate that. Uh, let's see here. I'm actually going to use Takedown now on Noctowl so I can KO Kecleon with the Flamethrower. Oh god, my pants are soaking wet. That's because I have to walk home in the snow. Uh, I don't like snow. <laughs> it's funny because, you know, people say all the time, Oh, I love snow. Snow's so magical. And it's like, no. If you've ever had to shovel snow, you'll learn you, you don't love snow. N nobody loves snow if you have to shovel it. Also, Intimidate sucks butts. Reflect! That lowers attack, am I right? Yes, well, it raises their defense. All in all the same sort of end product. Well, I, well, it, you re when you put into consideration whether you want to raise your attack or lower their defense, it's like, well, it depends. Are they the more the challenge, or... You know what I'm saying? It's like, if they're more of a challenge, you want to lower theirs. But if, if you're, if you need, if you think you want to sweep, then you want to raise yours. It's like, it's all about choices, man. Also, that should be super effective. Isn't it flying psychic? Or is it just normal flying? I always thought it was psychic. I know it can learn psychic moves, but I guess I'm wrong. Also, shadowy balls. Don't throw your shadowy balls all over my tiny ocarina thingy of thinginess. Also, Conher is getting so much, I don't know, screen time? He's just being used a lot. I, do, I just want him to evolve. Once he evolves, I think I'll, I'll lay back. But until that time, we need to work on him. Um, this is not going as fast as I'd hoped. Let's just focus on one of them. Also, Flamethrower. I think that'll be the ultimate solution for everything, really. Flamethrower? I think it's a pretty good... Th look right there! Critical hit! That's exactly what I wanted. So actually, I was reading in a Kijiji today. That's a... I don't know if you guys have it in the States, but it's a local, like, classifieds thing online. And um, they had on there an SNES. And I was like, oh my god, yes, I've been looking for one, but it's for a hundred bucks. And I was like, oh... Oh, that's not good. But, um... But it did come with Mario World, which is... Super Mario World is the one game I want to get an SNES for. Because 
I lost all my Game Boy Advance games, minus the Pokemon ones, um, and I think Beatemon, Beataman. Well, how did you pronounce? It's Beatemon as a kid, yeah. Other than that, I've lost them all, and that was one of them. So, um, I kind of want to build back up my collection. Also, Zaprong leveled up once again, plus three attack. Well, I guess you're just gonna be powerful then, aren't you? Actually, we could probably switch out now. Um, give the experience share to Eren so that we can actually, you know, do do damage. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the take the experience share. Also, the switch items function in Pokemon Black 2 White 2 is probably one of the best things that's been added to Pokemon. Everything about Black 2 White 2 seems suited for the players. Am I the only one who feels like that? Where it's like, no matter what, it really feels like everything is meant for the players. Also, more hallway ninjas. No, no, you're not allowed to go any further. Farther. Is it... What is the difference between further and farther? Like, go any farther. Would you say further or would you say farther? Now, those don't even sound like words. Also, Jump Luff's balls are really bright. Ref what? I was gonna say, like, referring to any balls as bright is hilarious, but... I, I don't know. Like, bright balls. That's something that comes up in conversation more often than... Than you'd think. Also, Fire Punch! Looks so awesome. But it's not the best. It's good, but not the best. Um... Stab usually helps. Sadly, we only get stab for Thunder Punch. But one stab is better than no stabs at all. Unless you're in a dark alley. Then no stab is better than uh, lots of stabs. Tail Whip? Was... I actually... What was it? It was... I think as a kid, some kid told me that for Nine Tails, Tail Whip is nine times as effective. If you use a lot, it'll like evolve into Iron Tail. That one kid lied so much. I just want to... He was the worst liar ever, that kid. I swear. Also, we might as well just try and paralyze it, because Flamethrower will kill the Jump Luff. No point in wasting a Thunder Punch on something that's gonna die anyways. You gonna get paralyzed? Nope, that's fine too. Sunny Day! You are so screwed now, Jump Luff. Oh, screwed. That's another thing. I, you know, this slang in general... How words now mean everything. Even actions. I'm so worried about actions sometimes. About what, like, what, uh... I don't know, it's like... Sometimes I stop myself from saying something. Like, something innocent because of the, uh... The innuendo it is. Sometimes I say it because of the innuendo. Especially for this, but when I'm just talking to people, like, I don't know. For instance, at my school. You know. That's the worst, though. At being at a school... Like, where nobody knows you... I gotta say, it's it's not very fun. I thought it would be like living in one of my Japanese animes where I'd bike to school with toast in my mouth and I'd run into a childhood friend, you know, that stuff. That didn't happen. And it sucks. I mean... <sighs> what you gonna do, though? I mean, I did meet some... Why am I talking about current events? This is supposed to be so that if anybody watches this part at any time, they... It doesn't affect that what happened in the past. Because the key to the past is in the future. Onward, Hiroshima! Please, if you get that reference, I love you. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna say right out because it's probably, you know, even people, if they knew it, they probably wouldn't know. Gravity Falls is a TV show that is amazing. I mean, I don't, it's funny. Cartoons as a kid. Like, they were good, but it seemed like, it seemed like as a kid they were good. But then for a while there were no good ones. Like, like, they all just sort of went to the way of, you know, merchandising and stuff. And now it seems there's so many great ones. I mean, we got Adventure Time, we got a Shiny Tangela, we got, uh, Amazing World Gumball. That show I wa I saw a preview for it, and I'm like, oh, that looks like some stupid show. Then I actually watched it, I'm like, whoa, this is actually funny and smart. And I love it. What other cart- Korra. Legend of Korra. If there was ever, like, one cartoon that I could recommend to anybody. It's like our family sat down to watch Korra because it was so freaking intense. Also, Shatter, but Shatter Butterfro. Shatter Butterfro. 
That is what it is. Not a Shadow Butterfree, Shattered Butterfro. Uh, I think I'm gonna Thunder Punch the Tangela. Probably be the best move. Also, why is that still going on? It shouldn't be. Thunder Punch the Tangela? Actually, no. Thunder Punch the Butterfree, Faint Attack the Tangela? I really hope we don't kill them. Like I said, that's another... I'd have to go and fight Mirby again. That was annoying the first time. It's more annoying the second, third, fourth, fifth time. Right now, he only has one, though, and that's his shadow. No! <gasps> My heart skipped seven beats. Okay. Okay. Whew. I think we now can all breathe sighs of relief and happiness that both of them have reached that point in which we're fine. <sighs> I, I I saw that super effective and I forgot that it's also flying type. So I was like, oh no! But it was all fine. I'm thinking of a move that won't kill Tangela. Maybe Cross Chop. Cross Chop should not. Hopefully. Because Thunder Punch gets stabbed. Those two are super effective. Cross Chop should not. Now we're going to send... An Ultra Ball, your way, Butterfree. Butterfru, Butterfro. Let's hope, let's hope this works. Through a Snag Ball. And I'm gonna do my method as a kid. Press A now when it captures it. Now every time it shakes, I press A. One. Two. Didn't work. Oh, Shadow Rave! <laughs> oh. Saprong died. Is it. How should I pronounce it? Zaprong or Zaprong? I think Zaprong sounds cooler actually when I think about it. Um, we're gonna have Banana come out and uh, heal. Not heal. Paralyze. That is the opposite of heal. What am I saying? Shadow Rush. Oh no. No! Okay, we're good. That's exactly. Did you see that? I timed that perfectly. He was like, oh, okay, we're good. That was actually. That was perfect. That was like. Uh, I, was, I was happy with that. I was, uh, you know, pretty happy. I think my voice when I do stuff in these games is utterly hilarious. I mean, it's not good to, you know, overly love yourself. Like, you know what I mean. Like, it's not good to, uh, over... Egotistical, that's the word. I love myself, though. I think my videos are absolutely hilarious. Huh. Come on, I'm not gonna press the buttons this time. Okay, so that it wasn't the button pressing. It was just my, uh... Lack there of luck. Also, did Shadow Mist do damage last time, or did it just do... Our evasiveness fell, right. Which makes no sense if you think about it. You'd think it would make your evasiveness rise, because you're, you're in fog. But since it's Shadow Fog, it's opposite fall, fog. It's Nega Fog. Oh, that's deep stuff. Also, why is your speed so... so high? Thunder Wave! You are now in a wheelchair. Paralysis, get it? Actually, as a kid, I never knew what paralysis was. That was one of the things I ha always asked my parents about. I'm like, Mommy, Mommy, what does perils mean? And she's like, oh, Tanner, that means paralysis. It means they can't move. Okay. Cool. And I remember, I didn't think it was a real thing. I thought it was made up for the games. That's the thing. A lot of things I used to thought was make made up for the games, but, uh, you know... A lot of it isn't, which is cool. It's fun looking into every Pokemon, what they're based off of and what they're like named after. Because every Pokemon, like their name is a pun, and they're made like they're they're after something. I don't think there's there's very few that are actually completely original. Like I mean, completely. Probably like like I mean, I'm trying to think, and like the first one to pro come to mind was probably Spirit Tomb, but even then, that's um. That's, uh... Oh, oh, we can't switch out. That's Gygus from, um, Earthbound. That's what, I, that's what I think it's based off of, at least. I mean, look at it. I've gone into the story about how Gygus gave, gave me a, a night, uh, nightmare the first time I heard about it, right? Did I go into that story? I'm pretty sure I did at least once. Um, and I think the reason is kind of obvious. It's really weird. And weird stuff as a kid scared me. For instance, even, um, the Unknown from Pokemon. They freaked me out. I had nightmares about them ever since I was little. And I don't think I... I even to this day, they freak me out a bit. 
We defeated Targ. You're not supposed to win! You're not supposed to have such a masculine sounding name. Targ. Hard G sounds do not work for girls. I mean, yeah, I'm getting into the semantics about names and stuff, but... Like, it doesn't. The hard G sound is normally reserved for guys, because it's a very, very masculine sound. You know, you got like, uh, Grog, Greg, you know, um, um, Greg, um, Craig, there we go. Um, also, we are far away from the machine and it's working. That's so cool. We found the hitbox on this, guys. I remember when. I first discovered hitboxes in fighting games, and I thought, wow, that is so useless. But I think we all had that point where we, we thought something was useless, and then we discovered its potential. Like Wobbuffet. I still blow people's minds when I tell them, like, the ultimate Wobbuffet setup that you can now do. How it's ranked, like, uber tier. They would never believed me. They thought I was crazy. They're like, no way. Wobbuffet sucks. I'm like, think about this, and I lay out down the whole plan with them. And they're like, what? And yeah, it blows their mind. Also, can we sneak past here without- No, there's one. So, it's you, is it? The water's been causing a 14% loss in manufacturing productivity? Ah, you're the kid that dropped in on us at the SS Libra? I see now. You know far too much more about Cypher than you need to know. If nothing's done about that, there's a 98% like, likelihood that this factory in the Shadow Pokemon plan will be endangered. In that event, the, uh, the danger to Cypher goes up to a whopping 54%. That's critically bad news. Not really. 54% is pretty good. I suppose we'll have to coax you into giving up the chase right here. No, 54% is not that critical. Um, if, like, my batteries on something were 54%, I'd say that's okay. When I hear critical, I mean, you know, 98. That's critical, in my opinion. Also, convenient Wobbuffet, a go-go, baby. Now, what should I use on it? Well, it is... Is it psychic or normal? It's normal, isn't it? I don't know. We'll kill the Shedinja first. Um, I guess we'll try Faint Attack. I don't know if it's psychic or normal. What? No, it's bug! Bug is... I super effective against bug! Yes, it is psychic. Okay, so I was right on that half. Don't use mirror coat. Also, what? Destiny Bond! No! No! Well, I guess if one of them's gonna die, it's... Wait, no. Um... Well, I guess we'll just have to Thunder Punch the Wobbuffet until then. And... Did we go before or after the Shedinja? I think... Let's see here. I'm pretty sh I don't know. I'm not mem I'm not looking at the times and stuff. And that's not very good. Uh, nope. We went before. You can use Dig on who? Also, that was the least movement I've ever seen from that. It just sort of... Okay, so I'm gonna... We're I think we're gonna... How do you not get hit by Destiny Bond? I'm wondering that. There must be a way to avoid it. And I don't think I know it, actually. How do you avoid it? Well, it's a good thing Shedinja only has 1 HP, because... Bye, Shedinja. You were my partner in... Sapphire. But no more. <sighs> Bye, Brava. I have weird memories with, the, uh, with those pseudo-legendaries from... Uh, uh, Ruby and Sapphire. I never went into it in Ruby and Sapphire. Yeah, yeah, you see, you took it down with me. I don't know. Is it have to be on the same turn, or... I don't even know. Um, it was weird, though. It was like, I used to think that, like, there was... Uh, what was it? It was like, somebody sent me this picture showing, um, Trappinch evolving into a bigger version of it. And, uh, like, it was weird looking. It was like some... Some just, like, bigger version of it. And then a, a baby sort of bug for Vibrava, and he said, yeah, this is what happens, and I believed him, and then one day, I had a trap inch, tried evolving it, and I was like, what? And I thought I glitched the game, because, like I said, that was at the time, that was young, though, that was when we were young. Oh, young memories of Pokemon are, like, some of the best. Oh, we're gonna get Ice Punch on Vibrava, and we're gonna Thunder Wave, can we Thunder Wave? I'm pretty sure we can Thunder Wave. There's one of them, I know a Poison... You can't burn a fire type. 
Unless, no, yeah, you can't burn a fire type. You can't freeze an ice type. Am I right? No. I know you can't poison a poison type. Or a, um... Metal type. Steel. I am not doing the thinking this part. I'm actually, like, really out of it for some reason. It's probably because I was just at school. I love school. Not. No, we can paralyze him. It's okay. I'm not a fan of school. <laughs> it's funny because, like, I learn, but I think the actual social interaction is what gets me. And holy crap, that is the most nerdiest thing I've ever said. But it's true, the social interaction part, I think, is really difficult. I have, like, I mean, at my old school, that was the best part. I mean, I had friends, and I was cool, like, well, I wouldn't say I was cool, but I mean, everybody sort of knew me, and, uh, that was, like, that was fine, like, with the whole social interaction at my old school, but this school, they scare me. I've gone over this, I've, I mean, these latest parts have just been me complaining about my new school, but I really shouldn't. Because, again, current events should not happen in a Let's Play. I... Because, I mean, I, like I said, I was listening to Super Genius, and he said, it, like, you know, it makes sense for it to be more of a, uh, you know, to be more timeless, so that at any time somebody can watch it. So, oh, but I guess we could discuss Magneton. So there's been a lot of confusion around, um, I remember... Whether a Magneton is just three Magnemites in a Delta formation, or if it's like, you know, like three Magnemites put together. And I still find that confusing on which is the official one. Because, I mean, you see the diff- like, in the 3D games, you see them apart, usually. But for some attacks, they go together. I find that weird. Uh, then again, it's probably also the most, like, least creative evolution of them all well no actually the gear ones are better or worse but then again could you also think that it's a shout out to how like lackluster the evolution is just adding a gear is like the same as just adding you know two other magnemites it's sort of like that isn't it how it's uh you know a very boring evolution then again you know a lot of people i it's i think people have Nostalgia goggles for the Gen 1 Pokemon, thinking that they're so perfect in design and everything. Yeah, they have cool designs, but at the same time, they also, you know, have some of them are pretty dumb. Most of them are just getting bigger and adding more, more of it. I mean, Grimer to Muck, you got Magnemite to Magneton, you got, uh, Coughing to Weezing, you know. I'm still waiting for my hacking. I still think that that's a great name that you can use, you know. And it could even be steel, oh, steel type or electric, you know, make it like a cyber one. Oh, and we defeated Snidal. Oh no, my calculations are all to whack. Well, you know what? Your calculations were all to whack because your name wasn't as simple as Jack. Also, we got the system lever. This is actually a mandatory item. Despite, you know, that not looking like it would be, it is. This is a very mandatory item. It's a key item, actually, so we need to get it. But I think, because I don't want another half-hour part because they take so long to upload, um, I think we're going to call this part. So, guys, in the next part, we'll continue on to the next floor. We got through one floor. Brilliance. Just utter brilliance with my Let's Playing everything today. Um, and we'll go to the last floor, I think. I think it's the last floor. I'm not sure. And uh, then we'll take on Gorgon. And use that system lever to do something. Till then, guys, I'll see you next time.